And we know the economy is cracking in so many ways. We had a labor report today. It's a freaking disaster because in three months from now, it's going to be revised down 80%. And when Jerome Powell spoke, you could see his body language. He was visibly nervous. He paused for 20 seconds when he was asked about the labor market. And of course, he said everything is fine. It's not. The Fed will cut probably in July, um, but we'll see. And when that happens, it'll be a here we go part two again. So buckle in, everybody. Bull market is alive and well. Now, Bitcoin black hole time, day 78 of these ETF puppies. After the worst day ever on the 1st of May, it's funny. We already have a crazy green candle as we speak. And Bitcoin is at 61,900. The next day, guess what happened? Four of the nine ETFs start to buy. ARK, BTCO, Burr, EZBC, all bought, of course, nothing for Fidelity and IBIT because they've got these money market things in play. That must be very lucrative. But the total drawdown was only 34 million. And that is a big, big difference from the nearly minus 600 million the day before. Massive change. What this looks like in the macro chart,